<laughs> just look at the color of that, man. This is just fun. And somtam is actually a great dish to really get high quality photos because it's somtam is a it's a salad anyway, so this is perfect. I love when Mark has the chance to learn Nigi sound language because it's been like from years back when we lived together in central Thailand. The taste test. So he's learning a few words of Isan. Simba means Timdu in central Thai language. Do you want to taste? The whole family is just so high energy. It's always a fun experience hanging out here. So, of course, if there was just one restaurant that I could pick in all of Konken to take Mark to, it's this restaurant. So, hanging out with these ladies. So I also like how she speaks Isan. She just right up with Mark. She said, "Abad akwa, sabad akwa, al simbun, simbun." And Mark like, hmm. I love it. Thank you, thank you. This is great. Okay, so Mark is getting his last few shots, and then we are gonna test ourselves, truly test ourselves with some somtam right now. Oh my gosh. Wow. So, even though I've been living here for two years now, I still have not found a single better example of somtam of Isan's signature dish, the papaya salad. None of them can beat this spot, and so I am so happy today to introduce Mark to what may or may not be the best somtam in, in all of Isan, in all of Thailand. I know that's a massive statement to make, but University of Somtam would be one of your ideal places to take a trip, travel here just to visit this restaurant. <laughs> Somtam Parinya Kwan Ken. Number one in the world, very often, my restaurant is our first in Kwan Ken. Very, very nice, very nice. Okay, yeah. Okay. 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 So, coming up to the front of the restaurant, you can see they have basically every ingredient that you would want for somtam. Here you have the Lao style. So Isan, Lao, they will eat similar somtam, which means a few key ingredients have to be included. The fermented fish you have right here, and actually pickled crab, which is in the real Lao style. So we got one of each, and then we got a Thai style, and then we got one with uh, beans, the snake beans, the long beans. Also, just because it is somtam, you cannot have somtam without it being just extremely spicy. So even beyond that, they take pride in making their somtams a real challenge to finish the entire plate. So we are in for a sauna session of somtam deliciousness for this meal for right now. It's a ludicrous amount of spice that we're about to eat. You can tell we've been doing good work when uh, actually I still have residue of sticky rice from the previous restaurant <laughs> on my fingers. <laughs> That's some oil from the crying tiger beef. <laughs> this is so awesome, dude. Yeah, this place is amazing. Just even the, you can see the quality and vibrant of the ingredient, vibrancy of the ingredients here. The brightness. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Freshness. Oh man. Especially, so these, so like the Thai style somtam, 
has a lot of fresh ingredients, but a Lao style salad, when it still looks that appetizing, honestly, that's so cool. Yeah, you can tell they pride themselves on every ingredient being fresh, starting the base of the flavor, starting with their incredibly aromatic fermented fish juice, that fish juice, the soul of Isan flavor, basically. I love how all the, the whole family is just smiling there. Maybe they, they appreciate we're here, but they also know what we are in for. <laughs> you made a video here though already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, this is where I came with my buddy Pim to have a chili challenge. But for a challenge at this place, you just order the normal somtam. You don't even have to specify extra spicy. Every single somtam here is already made, pre-made, extra spicy. Grab your sticky rice and prepare, prepare your fire extinguishers, everyone. Oh man, I think, I think I could actually, I'd be willing to go back to university <laughs> <laughs> for this. <laughs> but just even the, the colors, the vibrancy, okay, she added in just a, a boatload, an entire spoon, an entire yeah. soup stirring spoon of chopped, of pounded chilies into each of the salads. But the, the brightness, the colors, they're actually almost neon. The colors are just popping. And then contrasted by that dark, rotted on purpose fish that she added. Oh, we got another one. Oh, here. thank oh, you. Oh, 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 I think you might have ordered this one. Even, oh, but it's so egg, pretty yeah. too. Even that's pretty, oh, yeah. yeah. Look at the difference in color. <laughs> so the dish that I always order here every time is the tamkola. Wow. Okay, dude. Cheers this epic yeah. papaya yeah. salad location. Cheers, bro. <laughs> oh, mm. wow. Mm -hmm. oh, wow, that's insane. That is a complete salad. Like every flavor you would want balanced perfectly and mega, just mega in the flavor department. Just overdose of flavor, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah so good. Dude. The bala, right? Like, oh, it's awesome. it's a, his somtam. Oh yeah, and you can tell. His bala. Oh yeah, the chilies. Like a slow, right. slow build of the chilies for sure. The, the first inklings of sweat just reached, yeah. <laughs> reached the brow. It takes a few bites for the chilies to yeah. hold up, and then they hit you hard. Bala, a whole piece of bala. Dude, look at that Christmas bite you have right there. Next up, this one is the tam sua. Wow. Mm. Mm. That is stunning. The maximum flavor on your tongue. Oh, I'm starting to salivate now. <laughs> I love the fresh, the sour tomatoes. Oh yeah, that one is the sour tomato. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And he always talks about these tomatoes and the, uh, like the unripe. Yeah. They're so awesomely sour, right? Yeah. Dude. The bala in that is, is almost like sweet. Yeah. So in the Isan language, the three key ingredients you would say, uh, oh, four actually. Bakianoi, mangyak, kapun, padak. The fermented padak fish, the... padak. <laughs> Ooh, that's spicy, dude. That's spicy, yeah. Yeah, Joel is saying that the... The highlight here is the fermented fish sauce, which they make themselves, right? Mm -hmm. Their own secret family recipe. And that truly is what makes this salad. Without the fermented fish sauce, it would just be mm -hmm. a mix of odds and ends. Oh yeah, I never thought of that. Adding like the carbohydrate to, yeah, it's like a to total meal in that. This is Lee's favorite. Oh, okay, thumb tua. Okay, I always remember thumb tua actually as his most spicy thumb. So getting a, uh, healthy helping right there. And you see the Thai water olive. The last main salad that we got is the tam tua, which is the yard long bean or Chinese long bean salad. Massive amounts of chilies. Yeah, that is, the chili is starting to build. 
Mm. Mm. Once you start to eat bala, like you just, it's addictive. You just cannot go back in flavor. I remember when you and I were first learning about papaya salad, Victory Monument, and we would go to the pink lady, that pink lady somtham cart, and we were just learning about bala. Like if someone else would order it, we would still taste it, but we wouldn't order bala for ourselves yet. But then now that we've learned about it, we would never ever order just a plain somtham. No way. No, I can't even. You I, I think, have to have it. I think it's something that you you build up to. Yeah, yeah. Bala is really something that you build up to. And then once you start eating it, you get addicted and you can't go back. Mm -hmm. The sweet and sour flavor just does not does not cut it for your taste buds anymore. But it is a it's like a learning curve for your tongue. Mm -hmm. You have to. It takes time to appreciate. It, that's for sure. It would probably be the one thing that people would say is like the least approachable flavor of of Thailand, right? But it but you should like like we both experienced for ourselves. You should keep going, and you will get addicted eventually. <laughs> that thing is mad spicy, that one. <laughs> That's funny, yeah. That's funny. Okay, and then oh the final gosh. dish that we got is the soup and mai. Dude. Yeah, I'm those, chilies are, those chilies are kicking in. Joel and I are starting to sniffle. <laughs> Start tears are starting to form. Yes, that dude. incredible. Oh, wow. And amidst these three gorgeous looking papaya salads, we just got some dessert over here, a nice bamboo salad, just because I know he's a champion of that dish as well. They're so meaty. Um, and then I love the onions in here. The chilies, especially that dry chili, and then the mix of herbs, the green onion, and the mint. Wow. I've thought of that, like, <laughs> on the level of like cheesy pasta, it's so meaty. It's like a it's cheese meaty. pasta because the the bamboo is like sour too, like like a cheese almost sensation. That is a salad and a half, man. Yeah. And the um the red onions are so awesome in that too, right? The texture of the the shredded texture of those uh, bamboo shoots, mm. like perfection. University degree, but this is not just a bachelor's. Yeah, this yeah. is this is a <laughs> this is a master's without a doubt. This is a PhD in pounded papaya salad. Wow, that's that is flavor overdose. The spice is building. Ooh. The fire is kindling in my mouth right now. That spice, dude. That chili level is impressive. Like just riding a wave. It's a huge wave. Just keep riding, keep surfing. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Some next level sometime. Mm. Mm. The, murk, yep. the murky level of that is unbelievable. The depths of it's like mud. You might mistake that for nampik kapi. <laughs> yeah, it's like a nampik. Oh, I got the dribble. The bala dribble. The bala dribble down the chin, and just absolutely made for sticky rice. The dressing, mm. the way it absorbs into a ball of glutinous rice. Also, just fun to eat. Just watch out for the pieces of the crab shell. Some of them are a little sharp. Mm. Mm. Actually, once you take a once you take a bite of the, the hardened one, you taste the sweetness in it. Yes, to go have. Uh -huh. 
เผ็ดมากจะไม่มีหวานอะไรอย่างนี้คือข้ามันัวจะกลมกลมเอานัวนัวเด้อนัวนัวเด้ออย่างเงี้ยครับคือกลมกลม So like, I guess the word umami. I guess in the Isan language they would say nua. So you have many tam restaurants that are called tam nua, which is like the umami, the full mouth happiness, is nua in the Isan. That's awesome. Full mouth happiness. <laughs> Let me just get a few close-up shots. Of... Lee, you got to try this. Come here. I already know which one is your favorite, but I also know because I just tasted all of them. Every plate on this table is just amazing. Just look how pretty. Bless you. Thank you. Just look how pretty that dish is. Okay, so it's like a full mix of Lao style, but also Central Thai style. So you see the dried shrimp, peanuts. Those are coming from the Central Thai style, and also the palm sugar, which balances it perfectly. You've got chilies, which everyone loves, and then you've got the ba d a k the fermented fish. That's where the Lao style comes in. And then, also up to you, you can get carrots. They added carrots for us, which just add to the texture and a little bit to the sweetness. And then the fresh, the hand shredded papaya salad. It's just. Yeah, that green papaya. The freshness is key, and every ingredient at this restaurant, man, they just everything is high quality. You can tell, and it is spicy. That's for sure. Well, mm. so I do you think you get to that point when you're eating chilies, or you just start to. I know, see things. This can actually make you hallucinate, which may or may not exist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man. Just a sea of flavor. What do you want to copy? I live that roastery. I live pretty close to that roastery. Oh. I I love the the leader. I guess the the man of the family, the guy who claims uh, to be the head of all of this. But they have all learned from him, and they are welcoming us so well today. So thank you. Yes, thank you. of course. Yep. Yep. And his wife, it's her husband works in the night. Yes, for and work in the daytime. Yes. Hey, she speaks English well yes, too. It's nice. Yes, that's uh, I cannot speak. <laughs> Some Indian and Chinese language also. Cool. Yes, of course I can talk to her also. Yes, I can do it, but not too, not too expert. But Cup. I keep some experience. This I l e a r n you from her, from foreigner, and have, have opportunity <laughs> to talk. <laughs> yes. I just, I just saw the color of that s o m t h a m Look at the okay. red, have to have, red color. Have to have to <laughs> show. We. Great. Okay, are you hungry? So Super spicy meal. Thank so you. Are you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yours. Well, I'm gonna buy this. Mammy, 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 m a m Location. And again, oh, that is the level of chili that you just, or for me, anyways, for me, anyways, that is the level of chili when I'm just stumbling. If not for Lee, I might leave my wallet, just leave the keys. Right now, I don't even know where where anything is. <laughs> Lee's gonna have to help me. We are gonna have another meal tonight, another legendary place. So, another place I can't wait to go with Mark. But first. Of course, it's coffee time. You better believe it. <laughs> And we need coffee. My brain is not even working right now. <laughs> What a place! You just you just tasted someone else's grab order. Grab food. Grab food.